right, YouTubers. This is Chance again. Hadn't posted in a while. Uh, took a little time off. Well, not a lot of time off, but you know, I got a son graduating high school. My second son. And uh, so I've been working on a little car for him to drive to school and you know, do the prom thing and all that, so it's been kind of tied up. But anyway, Snoopy has been doing fine. Uh, I just had it serviced, oil changed and what have you, and um, got all the oil changed. I, I found that it, uh, like the fuel filter, the MAC fuel filter lasts longer than the aftermarket fuel filter. So the first time I had it serviced, I let a guy, you know, I let a guy, it's a guy that does a lot of maintenance on my trucks. And um, he used, you know, a Donaldson's fuel filters and oil filters and whatnot. And I noticed that Donaldson fuel filter didn't last as long as the, as the uh, Mac fuel filter. So I told him, say, you know, use all Mac filters when you change the oil and the fuel filters and what. And that Mac filter still hadn't even got fuel in the bottom of it yet, so it, it, it definitely lasts longer than the aftermarket stuff. Um, truck's got about 60,000 miles on it now, 61 probably, and uh, it's been it's been doing great. I had an issue, I had to take it to the dealership. Uh, I guess with these new trucks or whatnot, they put me a new headlight in. Took about four weeks to get it in, but they put a new headlight in. The turn signal works great. Uh, I had another issue with the uh, lane assist, but that wasn't the truck's fault. That was my fault. I would explain it more, but it wasn't the truck's fault. But when I got it to the dealer, I was hoping they could fix it, and they did. It was not too much of a problem. So it's still getting about six and a half miles a gallon loaded empty it's, it gets on up there but loaded it's getting about six and a half which is awesome for you know saying I'm 79 nine most of the time or 70 79 thousand so it's getting about six and a half to the gallon um, hadn't used any oil between oil changes um, hadn't had any issues with it as far as uh, brakes I try to keep my drivetrain and all grease good. Um, it's it's been a good truck. I really ain't got much to say negative about it. I'm thinking about getting some lights and put on the uh, underside of here. I don't want to get no chrome or nothing because it's already kind of tight getting to the fuel cap. So I don't want to put an ext extended piece of I don't want to put another piece of chrome down here, but what I would like to do is get some some lights, those dual revolution lights, and run down the side of it, and they can be amber, and you can hit a switch and they turn blue. And I was thinking about putting three three LED lights, well, in these corner of these vents on both sides, and uh, that's about it. But I definitely want to get these dadgum. Uh, mud flaps I guess that would be because it'll throw rocks up and hit the back of the cab you know and I hate that because you know you chip the paint and it starts to rust so I've been looking at getting the uh, extended mud uh, mud flaps you know the chrome ones that go out that's half fenders they call them half fenders but Jesus Christ they want a lot from them things I'm thinking like a thousand dollars or eight hundred bucks you know, and they're kind of tricky because they show it to you on the websites for 350 And then when you click on it, oh, it doesn't have the mounting hardware. When you click the mounting hardware, it goes from 350 to 750 And I'm like, how you charge the same amount for the mounting hardware as you do the mud flap? So, anyway, uh, I want to get some of those just to keep rocks from flying up and with these... Uh, these type tires, the lug type pattern type tires, they hold rocks. You see like that? 
they pick them up as you're driving and then once you get up the road speed they'll throw them up up at the truck I'd, I'd like to get a set of half fenders i don't want the whole ones i just want the half ones and um keep the rocks from getting thrown up and plus it'll keep the catwalk a lot cleaner because it throws dirt up there when you get in muddy places just be less cleaning on my behalf if i had them on there so um i think that's what i'm gonna do try to get some fenders for it but other than that it's been doing great uh, dealership's been treating me pretty good uh I, I, I'm not from Houston, but I bought this truck through the Houston dealership, and um, so I, I live near the Augusta dealership, and um, I have to kind of tell them, hey, make sure everything's good on it. <laughs> I'm like, hey, dude, uh, still on a warranty, so everything's great. But it's amazing how many miles you rack up in these trucks, and I ain't been running like crazy. I've been... I've been really just slacking off here lately, but weather's getting better now. I can hit the system a little better, so I'll probably start turning some real miles in the in the near future. But uh, yeah, truck's been doing great. Everything's fine. No issues. Refrigerator still working great. Everything, TV, all that stuff. So. I, the truck actually makes I have to I have to, I have to remind myself to you know back off of it you know because this truck will pull loaded or empty it don't care it's gonna run pretty much the same it'll go up you know pretty much mountains like like it ain't nothing but um you know you get tired of changing lanes so I, I've had to teach myself okay look back just just keep the cruise around 70 and you know, let people pass you, you know, because you get tired of passing and change lanes. And when you change lanes so often, there's there's more chance for an accident or incident to happen. So I, I've learned now, I'm kick the cruise down 69, you know, and just just let it put on along, and it'll probably get even better fuel mileage at 69 than it does 73. But if I'm in hilly terrain, I'll put it up around 73 so it don't pull it down so bad on upgrade. It doesn't have to drop a gear. So, there you go. I'm also thinking about getting another Mac, which is <laughs> amazing. My wife, she's uh, probably going to start out driving. And if I can't figure out an outfit or a team, team deal, I like to stay where I'm at as far as company. And they don't really have team freight. So, uh, I'm actually thinking about getting another truck, you know. Um, so, if I do, it's going to be a Mac. It's cheaper to order one than it is to buy it off the lot. So, I've been tossing that around. Uh, I may just put her in this one. And I may get in my old Pro Star, you know. So, that's the other plans I got thinking about what to do and what future plans because you know our kids are grown getting grown or all grown and you know there's no need to sit at home when you can make a dollar see the world at the same time so that's what i've been trying to convince her to do you know hey get your license kids are gone you ain't got no reason to stay at home by yourself you know you can get out here with me and make a dollar while you're out here so she's on board we working on it, and there may be another Mac in the near future. And if I do get another one, I'm thinking about getting a stick. I love my automatic. Don't get me wrong. I hear you guys. I just want a, I just want a stick because I know the history of a, a manual transmission. You know, I don't have issues with them. So just in case, I want to try both. Both. This one has an automatic. I ordered it like that. But I'm going to order another one, and I'm going to try to make sure it has a, it's going to have a manual in it. So, that's the plans right now. Nothing much going on. Uh, you guys be good. Talk to you next time.